cart. Good morning. You wanna go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. Okay, hello. Uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Julie for those who don't know me. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more content from me and it helps me out a lot. Today, I just wanna talk a little bit about getting older and kind of working through a quarter life crisis. It's something I feel like a lot of people joke about but they don't really genuinely talk about. And as someone who is going through a quarter life crisis, I feel like it would be perfect to kind of bring it up and talk about it. And I'm in no way a professional. I, un I haven't done any research or anything. This is just my personal experience and I just wanna share it. So I will be 27 at the end of May and I was is kind of in this space of not knowing what I want out of my life, what I wanna do. As you all may or may not know, I did go to school. I got a bachelor's degree in health and human services. I'm currently not in a job that requires a bachelor's degree, but it is in a hospital setting. So it's kind of where I wanted to end up anyway my jobs like entry level like I get paid well like I can't lie but it's just not what I was expecting from my life when I graduated college three years ago I just want to bring that up and say if you're watching this before you're in a quarter-life crisis during or even after one I just want to bring up that being in a place where you never thought you would be is perfectly fine it's okay it's normal it's human as a society I can only speak for the American society we need to push away that this idea that our lives need to be perfectly planned out and we need to kind of follow this path that society deems necessary or right for us your life will not look like what you had imagined it literally a year ago so I don't know where I'm going with that but that point one I was kind of in this place of I don't want to call it depression like it wasn't that far but it was pretty close of this place where I was just stagnant and I woke up and every day I did the same thing. I had the same routine, which is fine, but I just felt like I didn't have that spice for life that I usually have for a long time. And that was just a product of me going through certain traumas and aspects of my life and finally processing them and then also like being in a career or I'm not saying that the career that I'm in isn't what I want but it wasn't what I had planned <sighs> I was just not in a good place like mentally and I was denying all these aspects of myself that I knew I wanted but it wasn't the right choice or whatever you know you just gotta do what you want you gotta do what you love I know that's cheesy and I'm not talking about career I'm talking about just like being a human being and doing what you want and love and like for me going to yoga going out to to the coffee shops and meeting people and going to to visit my friends and people that i love and starting to make plans to move forward with my life like aging is not something to despised it's not something to fear it's something to embrace and to love and to be excited for because you're going into these new spaces in your life and you are that much that much more wiser that much wiser it, than you were previously you can make smarter decisions you're more educated you maybe probably have more money so you can do more things that you want aging isn't a bad thing and i I never felt really negative about aging but for a second maybe a, like five minutes I was like oh my god I'm turning 27 years old I'm gonna be almost 30 not that that's old or that that's bad but what am I doing with my life what am I doing here point being I guess sit down with yourself get out of your normal routine even if it's just for a day or two and go somewhere somewhere that you love you know like for me I went to visit California. I love it there. It's my home. It just gave me a fresh perspective. Get out, go for a couple walks, use that PTO, that sick time at work, and take some mental health days and really like tap into you, not anyone else, 
not your mom, not your dad, not your coworker, not your partner, not your, not your dog. Like, tap into you. What do you need? What do you want from this life that you're creating? And make steps forward to do it. I didn't realize that this was going to turn into like a bro TED talk, but here we are. For me, you know what? I'm not going to get into it, but i'm taking steps to move forward i'm going back to school to, to do the things that i want i'm looking for a therapist i'm gonna go get my teeth cleaned you know like the normal adult upkeep but it's you just have to do it did i even finish that thought of just like getting out and using your pto and just going inside and seeing what it is that you need or want if you want to move out of wherever you are to move somewhere else do it like i did it i moved twice in six months and you know what, I'll probably move again in like a year or two because I just want to give myself more options, more opportunity from someone who's going through a quarter life crisis to you, wherever you are in your life. What I have to say is do what you need, do what you love, and do what makes you happy. And I sound like Kelly Wakasa, do what excites. If you don't know who he is, please go check out his channel. He is a huge inspiration for me and just his content, his storytelling is amazing anyways random plug yeah do everything that you need that you want give back to me and tell me how it goes it's a process you know the thing with that is your progression is not gonna look like this right it's gonna look like this and this and this and this and this like that's just that's just life nothing's linear there's ups and downs and you might go this way and you might go that way and that's just that's what we signed up for for being human in this life so yeah that is all i have to say i hope you enjoyed that i hope you got something out of it i'm definitely pumped up for my life and i'm filming this for the youtube channel but also for me to remind myself whenever i do get to the down here it gets better i just want to remember how i feel right now so i hope you have a great day and i will see you next time bye